Mrs. Bailey. Unfortunately, I can't commit to that publicly. What I can tell you is we're hopeful that at least a portion of the deficit amount can be offset by a gain in new growth, but we cannot we cannot commit to a number this evening. That is too difficult for us to do. Mrs. Bailey, there's a possibility that our public hearing on the 10th that we may have that information. But we're, we're at, you know, we're, we have to wait for the, uh, yes, yes. Get, yeah, my, my question or comment is uh, obviously this is going to be some sort of a uh, positive adjustment in the right direction for us. The question comes is, you know, and I know the revenue will be sustainable going forward to a certain degree, but uh, do we necessarily want to postpone the exercise we've been going through here for the last few weeks and you seem to be heading in the direction in relation to you know contracting our spending and uh, modifying our current budget even if we're able to close the gap well I, I wouldn't totally. because you know I, I'm just concerned about going forward with the contractual agreements that we have and, and maintaining the level of services that we're even if we're going to contract them a bit uh, being able to sustain that going forward I mean, there's nothing wrong with carrying a little bit of cash forward rather than spending it all in order to maintain what you have right now. Well, I, I, I think that that's, you know, the, the, the essence of the public hearing is to is to deal with the specific issue, right? Well, uh, the, the one thing that we'll know is whether or not question one has passed or the 10th. Uh, we won't know what adjustments the state, additional adjustments the state is going to make. but. We've been forewarned that there will be additional adjustments. Not necessarily for our current fiscal year, but definitely uh, well, fiscal year 10. No, well, uh, I'm reading it more like there's going to be some. Mike is working at the State House. Maybe he can enlighten <laughs> us. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be the current budget. It's going to be the current. going to put some things in immediately. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is good news, but it, it it's you know all what it means is that you know maybe we get by with the current plan, you know, and that uh, whatever other cuts will be absorbed by maybe some of the new growth. I don't know, but you know I, I think unfortunately since we don't want, no don't know what the number is and we don't know what uh, is going to happen tomorrow yet, uh, and even after that we still have to. Uh, be diligent and be prepared to make adjustments that, you know, it, it, it's in our best interest to be very conservative associated with uh, any additional money that we might uh, be able to take in in revenue. Otherwise, uh, you know, the longer we wait, the deeper the cuts have to be to make those adjustments, which is, you know, the concern that I have. And then you're right that if there's any possible way of carrying something into 2010, it's going to help us a lot associated with dealing uh, with, uh, you know, what is a projected, significantly projected, uh, I mean, significant big number of a shortfall for 2010 based on, you know, current level of services. Uh, I, I want to commend uh, our uh, finance department, our collectors, our uh, uh, assessors associated with the efforts that they're putting in to uh, help the situation out. I think that uh, that's the right thing to be doing and keep it up. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Any other uh, comments on this? Um, I think the uh, uh, you had a copy of the letter that was submitted by the department heads I won't read it, but you, there was a copy of it in your packet this evening. I would ask that the board um, just briefly look through it. There, there are a couple of um, alternatives um, absent the 
new growth increase that we would look at. Um, one of those is a across the board reduction and the um, estimated reduction to municipal budgets to achieve the $150,000 savings would be 1.4%. And the other alternative would be to do um, layoffs and reductions that aren't equal across the board um, to the departments. And you'll see from the, uh, the letter that you've received this evening that the um, although the 1.4% reduction across the board is not optimal, um, the department heads have commented that it is um, more viable and would not necessarily have the uh, devastating impacts that layoffs would if they would have been So I just ask that you acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. The others that are here would like to say anything uh, you, through you, Mr. Chairman. I would certainly would encourage them to do so now. Just, uh, Mr. Chairman, just is this uh, to be construed that you're recommending Based on your conversation with the department heads, not there. my recommendation. Oh, okay. Because this appears to be in support of the that is not that my said. that is not my recommendation, sir. My recommendation okay. would 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 come out um, on the tenth if we were to get there, and I, I do note that it is written in that way, but that is not my recommendation. Mrs. Mullen, were you watching TV? Is that what you're doing here now? Oh. No, they. <laughs> <are>. <laughs> You really weren't yeah, watching TV. Started getting a check. <laughs> <laughs> Someone delivered a fifty thousand dollar check uh, for Rita Mullen Field this evening. <laughs> yes, really. Not April I said we're just going to drop the word "field" and have you endorse it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you rushed down here because you were watching TV. <laughs> We're not fooling either. It's real. Well, unless it bounces, it's real. <laughs> yes. Anyway, you you weren't here to thank Mr. Noons for the check, but we did it for you. <laughs> we did it for you. <laughs> I almost I didn't say that. But I was <laughs> thinking that <laughs> myself. <laughs> but so, um, so, anyway, anyway. so this is not necessarily the, the administrator's recommendation in the way to handle it. Administration um, will hold off on any recommendations, firm recommendations until the public hearing. We we did discuss at the department head meeting about the um, across the board reduction versus layoffs and um, frankly we've been um, distracted by the opportunity to increase our new growth to get too deep into the, the level of cuts that would be necessary so um, I have yet to uh, formulate my recommendation on, on which avenue is most appropriate if we need to go there. Okay. Mr. Mr. Was, was the unanimity in the part of the department heads in relation to the those who are here. Yeah, I see a lot of heads nodding and bobbing like this. Yeah. Any, any other questions no. regarding uh, budget estimates? No, I would just say that when the assessors uh, do hear on the new growth, we will uh, be back in touch and we'll contact the board members immediately possible that we'll have that. Do you think we will have that information for I next Monday night? Okay. And we 100% need it in advance of the tax hearing. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. right. Or we can't have the tax Yeah, right. And, that, and the tax hearing is scheduled for the 17th. From looking at all the other communities, there's only 40 communities that had approval so far. Mm -hmm. And of those 40 communities, it looks like within a week's time, there's an answer back. So I would expect by Wednesday or Thursday, we have something back. In the okay. Week. As soon as I see the treasury, the mm -hmm. first thing. And then we will set the tax rate, and then the next step is back to DOR for approval. 
hopefully before December 31st so that we can send real tax bills out for February 1st. Yeah, that was a difficult, uh, was it last year? Yes, it was last year. Yeah. Uh, you were stuffing bills we stuffing on uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve morning. <laughs> we were. Jovino was there. I was there, too. I showed up at the very end and stuffed a half a dozen envelopes. And they very nicely gave me mine so I could <laughs> build it to my Yes, Joe. Up. understood that but thank you yeah. Yeah, and I for one appreciate the, the department heads uh, I know you have an interest uh, vested interest but I appreciate the input in, uh, in the recommendations and collectively getting together to try and uh, help solve the problem I think it's helpful, helpful for us by making it a little easier on us any other input from uh, department heads board members Mr. Bellaconis Let's move on to the town administrator's report. Um, refer to the copy that was in your packet this evening. Green sheet. Mm -hmm. We can. Thank, uh, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We can thank skip you. skip over number one, which is uh, the discussion we've just had on new growth. Mr. Bell, can I stop you for a second? Do we want the police to come here to find you to explain the, the truck? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There's a this vehicle that uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. with ten thousand miles on it. Good night, Helena. Good night. <laughs> <coughs> the, uh, the fire department. The fire department has <laughs> received a donation of a truck with ten thousand miles on it. We need an explanation of what that's all about. Close to you almost get out. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I put it in my chief. report that it attracted all types of attention about acceptance oh, of the, truck? the vehicle. Yes. It? All right, it's a 1993 uh, four door cab diesel uh, truck that holds four, four man cab with a, uh, not a dump body, but it looks like a dump body in the back of it. Uh, we're going to be getting three of them, not the town itself. What we're building is a, a technical rescue team for the county of Essex County which is 36 communities from here to the water. What we're trying to do is make a regional team so that the town doesn't have to pay for all of the training and so forth. So what we're doing is bringing in three trucks uh, that are given to us by the federal government that are surplus. Uh, all three of them have 10,000 miles or less on them. They were used as uh, airport vehicles sitting on the tarmac at uh, if you, uh, United States Airport ba Air Force bases. Uh, we, was, we were looking for trailers, but the trailers were going to cost us like $20,000 a piece. We got these for nothing. So we're doing some bringing them in. And then at the time when we start to put the program together, each vehicle will be given to a, uh, a certain area of the community, uh, the, of the uh, area, that we're dividing into three sections. There'll be a, an east section, a west section, and a central section. And that goes from North Reading all the way to the water. And at that time, we'll decide who's going to get the trucks and where, they, where they'll be stored and so forth. But it's our, uh, right now it, we have a $200,000 uh, Homeland Security grant. And anything that takes has to do with this technical rescue team will be paid for out of that grant. The training, the vehicles, the painting, uh, maintenance, the whole nine yards. All we're doing right now is taking them under the town's name to store them until we decide how they're going to be moving around. When you say we... have we an opportunity to get the vehicles. I'm sorry, when you say we have a $200,000, is this the group of communities? Essex or? County. Essex County, okay. There's 36 yeah. communities. Even though we're in Middlesex. Yeah. 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 Uh, many years ago, uh, probably 13 years ago, my father was the fire chief at that time. We joined the Essex County Mutual Aid District, <coughs> along with the town of Reading and Wakefield, uh, and over at and then it goes directly to the water line. Uh, we all joined into that uh, conglomerate. And uh, right now we've gone for different uh, bids to do radio systems. Now we're on to technical rescue teams. We're trying to do things in a regional program so that we try to keep the cost down. 